Hey YouTube, it's uh, been quite a long time since I started on this remote control mower project and uh, I'm just going to do another episode and before I do I'd just like to dedicate this uh, build to my mother um, who passed away in October of 2020 of uh, cancer after a very short battle, uh, 10 weeks from diagnosis to dying and mum always believed in me, she always said I could do anything that I put my mind to so I want to dedicate this build to mum um, and hopefully I can do it proud. Okay, so without further ado, here we go. Now we're to find some space to set this all out. That's been half the problem. Pulleys off. I'm going to have to rearrange these guys to put them in a slightly different order because normally the belt would feed in from the back, come around, go around this way, like that, out to there, and there. I'm planning on putting the motor here, which means I have to uh, juggle some of these guys around. Humid. Yeah, I know, it's very humid. Not that I need a reason to sweat, but humidity certainly. It's a cool enough day, it's just humidity with the rain. Can you see the deck from there? I can. Um, on the camera, you mean? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what matters. <laughs> um, not really. Well, you can see a little bit. Six thirty. Six thirty. What's that? Just over two foot, about twenty-five inches. Find out how much I can save on this guy. Because the fuel tank's got to sit on top. From the bottom, where the bolt is. is about 475 so what's that 475 is 17 inches were our calculations correct no that's not right 19 inches Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm fine, sweetie. It's got a small problem here. Oh. It's got a small thing to work out. I don't know which way the engine turns. Because there's no port start on it, it's electric start. I may have to look it up. Yeah. Work out which way it rotates, because one way is going to do it up. I mean, typically bolts do anti clockwise, but if that's depends on which way the engine's rotating, if they've got a reverse thread bolt in it. Okay. Right about now, what well, I would give to have a rattle gun. This would be off in two seconds. I wouldn't have to worry about locking up the engine because it would just be right. Ah, got it. That's the bed. I have no idea what the neighbours are listening to, but it's crap. Unlucky, it'll just slide off. If not, we've got to organise some pullers. Um, had a hammer a second ago. Where's the oil coming out of? The air cleaner. Why the hell would the oil be coming out of the air cleaner? There's a ton of oil coming out of the air cleaner there. What oil is doing in the air cleaner, I do not know. But I'm just going to do a quick drain here. So we haven't got oil everywhere. Needs an oil change anyway. I bought this, when I bought this engine, I bought it cheap because uh, the guy couldn't get the ride on mower, which I pulled apart, which was, pretty much had it, but he couldn't get it to start. I did manage to get it to start before I bought it, but it was running very rough. You can see the fair amount of wheel in there. Probably an inch of oil in the air cleaner. How they got in there, I do not know. I don't recall the last time I cc the cylinder head, but I still have the syringe. This is lucky. If it fits.
that's not tight, that's just in there for later. Remember that. Something metallic in there. It's very good. And the fact that I can see my fingers suggests that it's not totally black like it's been in there forever. That's not bad. You need something for the, on the ground? No, I've got a bag here. I'll, I'll degrease it later. Okay. There was a ton of oil in the car, brother. Right. When I got this thing, when I bought this engine, the guy couldn't get the thing started. And after a lot of mucking around, we got it to run very, very roughly. That's the one that we picked up in the middle of Brisbane? Yeah. Yeah. And um, there was a ton of oil. I don't know whether... I'm just trying to think how I had it tipped over it's on the side, so I mean there's oil can obviously get into um, the top end here and everything like that through the it's got an overhead valve, so obviously there's push rods and stuff from the sump through to the head area. But I'm just trying to think how oil would possibly get into the intake because the intake system should be completely separate to the rest of it by virtue of. The only thing it would have is the piston rings. It'd have to get by the piston rings in order to um, in order to get into the carburetor. And I'm, I'm not talking a little bit of oil. It was, it was a fair whack of oil. So. So is it broken? Um, no, but it does explain why it was so hard to start. I mean, if there's that much oil, but it does kind of beg the question of why there's so much oil. Well, I'll, just, I'll look into that later. That's not a today problem. If it had been lying on its side for quite some time, couldn't a couple of drips turn into a hell of a lot of oil? You know, I was wondering that because I, well, yeah, he, did, he did have the mower tipped on its side because he had the deck and everything off. I think he got the deck was buggered or something. So... Um, because, you know, if you've got a bottle that has a tiny, tiny leak in yeah, it, yeah. over time it will leak out. But it shouldn't, still shouldn't be in the intake. Because mm -hmm. this is a complete... I mean, the, the, the rings are supposed to basically seal this side. So in the piston, in the in the bore, you have your rings. Mm -hmm. and you've got oil in the, in the crankcase here. And the rings are basically supposed to stop the oil coming past it. But... If he had it sat on it, as I said, if you had, if he had it sat on it, laid on its side, which he did when we first saw it, mm -hmm. there is a good chance that probably if it's been like that for a real long time and there's any, you know, between the ring gap or any, mm -hmm. you know, just sitting there like that, um, it could possibly have gotten up to the cylinder. So you had a shitload of oil up in the cylinder explains why it was hard to turn over because obviously if it's trying to compress oil in the cylinder and why it was hard to fire all of those things add up mm -hmm. I reckon it's because he had the things he must have had the thing sat on its side for a very long time and that's why it was that made the wash it. and how much did you pay for it oh not much at all I had to pay about 180 bucks for the whole mower yeah, which is a shitload of money if it doesn't work. No, 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 it's very cheap. If it doesn't work. Doesn't matter, I, even if I've got to 
pull the head off and put new rings and shit in it. Um, it's still cheap. Okay. Cool. Because I, yeah, no, I'm still way ahead in my life. Okay. Okay. Um, that needs a proper wash up at some point. Can you throw that rag in the bin, please? It's a little oily. Uh, hang on, those nuts didn't go on there, they went on there. I was wondering why I had a second, an extra a lot of nuts on the top here. Those nuts didn't go on there. Yeah. Can you grab me a couple more rags from just around the corner there? Thank you. Wasn't paying attention. And we all know what happens when you don't pay attention, don't we, sweetie? Yeah. You pay with pain. Uh, there should be a bag somewhere near the door there. With a, a plastic bag of rags or just any you see floating up around the floor when we do. I may even pull this engine apart just to have a look at it later. So I might see how easy it starts. If it starts and doesn't blow smoke, I won't bother. But if it blows smoke, I'll pull it apart. Probably, what is that bolt? I've got that I can use that. Two jewels, three jewels, what have I got? That isn't broken. It's only just on there. bets on whether it slips off. Pulley. I was afraid I was going to do that. So far on this other side. No, oh, we're not going to use this one anyway. Looking like it's moving. Not even thinking about it. Okay, properly, but it's uh, moving. 
Must be. Wash us, go on. Slap in the wash is gone. Slop in there. I reckon a quarter is probably the go. Okay. Now, this is probably any good. It's got a dent there I can knock out easy enough. Top probably looks alright. Just that one in there needs a bit of a touch up. I think that will do it for today. I need to buy some quarter kiwi. The shops are next open. With some 20 mil box section in place. That pulley is a little low, so by the time I put the engine plate that's on the frame in between here, get my finger out of the road, in between there, that's going to lift it up, that'll lift the engine up may or may not be enough so this bar i may need to get some 25 mil bar there where i've got the 20 set at the moment the other problem i can foresee arising here is that this pulley is very close to the engine and i don't think i'm going to be able to get a belt on there without interfering with this bar so I may actually need another pulley, that one that has the pulleys um, closer together. So I can drive the alternator off the top pulley. So, but that's another day problem.